When I was first diagnosed, I was told that I'd have problems conceiving and I was even told at a later point that I'd, it was a fertility nightmare. So I didn't hold out a lot of hope about conceiving children of my own. Um, thankfully, that's been proved to be wrong. <laughs> um, I guess when I was diagnosed, I was relieved that that actually worked out what was wrong with me, but I was also quite fearful about some of the concerns around things like fertility. I mean, it was incredibly scary because, I mean, like a lot of girls, I always thought I would grow up and get married and have three kids. And um, so it's, you know, when you first get diagnosed, it's, it's really scary to think, hang on, is my whole life going to change? Can I no longer do that? Hi there, I'm Associate Professor John Eden. I work at both the University of New South Wales and the Royal Hospital for Women in Sydney. Through my work, I meet a lot of women with polycystic ovary syndrome. Unfortunately, many have been told that they'd never get pregnant. This is simply not true. Around 1 in 12 women have polycystic ovary syndrome. Symptoms include acne, irregular periods, fertility problems, insulin resistance, weight gain, scalp hair loss and excess body hair. As for the symptoms, they're easily treated. So let's look more closely at the issue of polycystic ovary syndrome and fertility. It seems to me that there's a common urban myth out there that just because your periods are irregular, you can't get pregnant. Most reproductive age women will have 12 or 13 ovulations a year. Some women with polycystic ovary syndrome will only have four periods a year, but that means that they're probably having four ovulations a year and so retain a chance of getting pregnant. In fact, sexually active women with polycystic ovary syndrome who don't wish to conceive must use contraception. I've met a number of women with polycystic ovary syndrome who had unwanted pregnancies because they weren't using contraception. Medical research has shown that women having six or more periods a year should have no trouble getting pregnant. However, around half of women with polycystic ovary syndrome will have fewer than six periods a year and may need help to get pregnant. A healthy lifestyle is really important, including a low GI diet and getting plenty of exercise. GI is all about sugar and carbohydrate. Low GI foods include protein foods, meat, chicken, fish, nuts and beans, most vegetables and most fruit. High GI foods include white bread, jasmine rice, potatoes, pasta. Often these steps alone will help many women with polycystic ovary syndrome to conceive. However, if the woman is still not ovulating regularly, fertility drugs or a medicine called metformin are often the solution. It's important to note here that I'm not talking about IVF treatments, which are usually not necessary for women with polycystic ovary syndrome. It's definitely not a death sentence having PCOS in terms of being able to have children. There's a lot of um, medication and treatment available. Yeah, it's a sense of relief, definitely, and um, that I might not have to reassess you know, every little step in my life after all, and I can still have that and, you know, be, have the three kids and, and be a mother at some stage. After all those years of not knowing whether I could have children or not, um, I managed to have these two beautiful children and they're the light of my life. And for anybody who thinks they can't, well, you can. I have PCOS and I have children, and it's wonderful to be a mum. <laughs> There are a lot of urban myths out there about polycystic ovary syndrome, especially around the issue of fertility. Don't believe everything you hear and don't give up. Seek out a health professional who knows a lot about this condition. Get an accurate diagnosis, know your options and take control of your life.